you, we got a problem, 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 it's probably you, yeah, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem. Yo, what's poppin' people called with Star Green? Back with y'all never build that y'all first time finding my channel. Or anything like that, you guys definitely hit the subscribe button. Also, the video yesterday, I'll be doing my little talk. I mean, when you call it a sport, I mean, a review, you can, but uh, we're talking about the new Bullet Train film starring Brad Pitt and a lot of other characters. This will be full on spoilers. Uh, I guess this will be more of like a spoiler talk slash review, kind of. I just kind of want to discuss some things that happened, some characters that popped up, plot points, stuff like that. So I guess you can kind of call it a review, but let's go ahead and I'll give you guys my rating at the end of the film. Let's go ahead and talk about it, man. It was crazy because when I had first, when I had first seen this movie, I sat down for this movie and watched it yesterday. Uh, was, there was no public screenings, only screenings for press and stuff like that. But when I first sat down and I watched Bullet Train, and I'm like at a, a halfway into the film, I start to think to myself, "Wow, this really feels like another movie." And you know what other movie it made me think that it felt like? It made me really feel like. It was another, or it really felt like a goddamn Deadpool movie. I was like, wow, this, like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, wow, this really feels like Deadpool. And then I look at the trailer early this morning, and I was like, oh, wow. Well, I guess why, I, I know why it feels like Deadpool, because it's the same director that made Deadpool. So, I was like, oh, okay, I guess that really makes sense. But you know what, I'm gonna say, I just wanna get that part out of the way, because I was like, Damn, I really felt like this movie felt like Deadpool. I just want to get that part out of the way. Because I'm like, I'm sitting there. And that, and I'll just say that. That's a really good thing, though. It's a really good thing that this felt like Deadpool, man. If you guys know me, you know I love the Deadpool movies. I can't wait for the new Deadpool movie to come out. Uh, it's probably coming out in a couple years. But I can't wait for that to come out. But let's go ahead. We're not talking about Deadpool. We're talking about the, the goddamn, we're we talking about the goddamn Bullet Train. So let's, let's go ahead and discuss Bullet Train really quick. Now... Pretty much the premise of this movie, and it has, it has a bunch of like little side plots. Everybody had like their own little side things, but they all collide with one another to make one huge story, which that's how side plots should be. Um, but in this one, pretty much you have a bunch of characters, not only Brad Pitt, but you have a bunch of characters all on a train for a different specific reason. And they all have a specific task of what they have to do uh, pretty much on this train. Some people are trying to protect somebody. Some people are just trying to grab a briefcase. Some people are just trying to be evil. You know, it's just everybody has these different goals on this train. And they, I like, they just happen to be on a, on a pretty much on a bullet train, right? So the whole entire movie, the whole entire two hours of the movie, you going through this goddamn bullet train. You know, and there's a bunch of characters in the cast I'll talk about in just one second. But that's pretty much the plot of the movie. The plot of the movie isn't that, isn't that complicated, honestly. It's just them on a goddamn train and everybody's there for like i said different reasons now i'm gonna talk about the cast really quickly it's crazy because i've seen this guy in so many projects and i feel like there's so many times where i feel like he's just sleepwalking throughout the film like he doesn't really care that much and that's all i'm talking about brad pitt and i will say in this movie that felt like the complete opposite i, I wouldn't say brad pitt stole the show but every scene he was in, he just he has he has such a great presence on screen. Like he knows, like especially on a role like this, we don't have to take nothing seriously. Like okay, people are dying around you, and I'll get to like the fighting and the choreographing a little bit. But uh, people are dying and stuff like that. But he still levels it out with that tone, you know. And I really felt like, yo, Brad Pitt, whoever was the casting director, knew what they were doing when they casted Brad Pitt. Like, they, they had this idea of this bullet train movie, and they were thinking about, all right, who should star in it? And I know whoever the casting director was just knew Brad Pitt would be perfect for this role. And he is. Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt makes this movie so fun, y'all. Y'all don't understand how, how fun he actually makes the movie. He makes the movie, like, I feel like a little bit better than what it should be. Because this movie should be maybe a little bit average, but, like, he kind of spices it up and make his, makes it a little bit better. So big pra big uh, praises to Ladybug, a.k.a. Brad Pitt in the film. Now, I know in, in the trailer, let's get to the characters. I know that's what y'all care about. When it comes to these goddamn characters in this movie, it, it's crazy. You can't talk about certain characters 
because there's spoilers. And I'll get on that in a second. There is a lot of cameos in this movie. I did not think that before I walked in. I was like, oh, it's going to be Brad Pitt. Uh, this is going to be uh, uh, Joey King. Uh, maybe a little bit of Sandra Bullock. Because I've seen her in the trailer. And uh, 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 Brian T. Henry. And a uh, oh boy, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. That's playing Craven in the new movie. Which I know that's going to be trash. Cause just cause Sony's a part of it. Sony don't. don't Sony, y'all know. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought that's going to be mainly them. There are so many more characters in this movie that they don't show in the trailer. Well, some of them they do show in the trailer, but I'll talk about them in just a second. But uh, let, let, let's go. I'll just talk about Brad Pitt. I'm going to talk about Joey King in a second. I just want to talk about these two really quickly. They, they pretty much play twin brothers, even though they look nothing alike. I, I hate when movies do that because a bunch of movies are starting to do that nowadays where they're making these characters that look nothing alike and they're calling them twin brothers. I hate when they do that. But, yeah, these two are pretty much twin brothers here. Uh, I think uh, uh, Tanner Jean and Lemon. I know, uh, oh boy, his name is Lemon. Brian T. Henry, his name is Lemon. These two connect. They connect like this. These two work so well together in the film. Holy crap, they get it. Like, I hate when they bring in these characters that are super serious and they don't fit the tone of the film. Or fit the style of the film. No, these two work. It was crazy because I'm watching Aaron Taylor Johnson in this role. And I'm like, and he, and he kind of gets me hyped to see him as Craven the Hunter in the new Sony movie that's coming out soon. But then I remember that Sony's behind it and I'm not hyped no more. But it's like, man, if Sony, if, if they can kind of get his character kind of like this, just to a certain extent, like... Make him kind of what? Well, uh, Craven's not really like a fun. He's not like really like a fun guy. He's more of a hunter. Uh, so I, I guess it's not a way to do it. But yo, man, like I said, watching this guy in this movie just kind of gives me a little bit of faith in Craven. But like I said, Sony's behind it, so I don't have too much amount of faith anymore. But yo, these two killed it in the film, man, and and. Like I said earlier, everybody's on like their own separate journey on this train. Like they're all on separate different missions. They all had to end up they end up just colliding with one another, like in the middle of the film. But these two are pretty much there to pr protect the briefcase, which they don't do, because uh, Brad Pitt ends up getting it, and they're in the post protecting this. Uh, the how was the guy? The main dude's name or the he had the really bad guy. I'll talk about him in a second, but he's a super bad guy. They don't show him in the trailer. He's a big cameo, too. But uh, they're, they're supposed to protect his son, which they don't. They get his son killed, like, immediate, immediately. And uh, I really liked... I really liked both of their characters. Like, not only did they really mesh well, but you get, like... You know, you get that... Uh, 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 what's it called? You get that where they go back in time and they kind of show you, all right, it's their previous missions of them actually working together. So it doesn't feel flat. It doesn't feel like, oh, we just threw this in there. No, you actually see them, actually, you see, I guess you see them as kids a little bit. And you see them, like, throughout the film, like, hey, we're, we're, they're working together. Like, they really kind of feel like brothers, you know? So I really felt like, all right, I like these two. I really do I really do enjoy these two screen uh, presence on the film. Now, I'm going to go through these really quickly because I know I'm talking too goddamn long. But if y'all think y'all finna see a lot of this boy right here. This is this is one of the people that I was talking about. This is a cameo, cause they kind of show Bad Bunny kind of throughout the trailer, but uh, he's not in the film that long, bro. Brad Pitt kills this dude like five minutes after you meet him. But I will say, when it comes to Bad Bunny, I used to I used to be like, like I really don't listen to a lot of Bad Bunny music. You know I should, but uh, seeing Bad Bunny grow as an actor and just get better and better and better as an actor is something I really appreciate. Because looking at, watching Brad, I mean not Brad Pitt, god damn it, I say Brad Pitt, I mean Bad Bunny. Watching Bad Bunny here, he doesn't talk, so I guess that's a plus. So, so he's pretty much just acting with his face in this movie. Like his facial expressions are like, he's pretty much serious the whole entire film. And even that fits well with the with the tone of this film. But just seeing him act here and even his cinematography, like uh, uh, his fighting scenes he has in this movie. Like I say he's not in the movie too long. He's in the movie for maybe like five, ten minutes and he gets killed off. But the time he was in the film, 
I wasn't bothered by him. You know, I was like, you know what? I actually like Bad Bunny in roles like this. You know, and I think he's he's one of the people that I'm saying, wow, he's really getting better and better at acting. You know, maybe because I guess maybe when he wasn't talking, but I really did appreciate Bad Bunny in this role. I think he I think he's really good casting for this role. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to, to the next one because there's a lot of people I gotta go through, so I ain't finna spend too much time. Uh, Talking about a lot of people. Uh, next person I want to talk about. I was I, w- I would mention her, but there's not too much to mention about her. Uh, if you guys know who I'm talking about here, she's been in a lot of films. Uh, I can't remember her name, but I won't I won't say too much about her character because she's not she's only in film for like two minutes. Uh, she you get introduced to her and then she gets killed off by Brad Pitt. So I don't even think there's any point in saying too much. I think she really did a great job on her performance, but uh. Yeah, there's nothing too much to say about that. Because I don't want to make this video too goddamn long, longer than it needs to be. Because I know me talking right now, this video might be 20 minutes. And I don't want it to be. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk about, you know what? I haven't seen her in too many things. But seeing her as a villain, especially with them goddamn eyes. She got them evil ass eyes. I've always said this. She has evil eyes. And I'm talking about Joey, Joey King. She plays the prince in the movie, a.k.a. the villain. Like she don't, she don't even gotta do much. Her character pretty much is she's just lucky as hell. That is her character. She's super beyond lucky. Like she can, like people are about to shoot this girl, and for some reason luck is just always on her side. And and that's even something she ends up bringing up. Like uh oh boy, it's gonna kill her. Uh, Brandon T. Henry was about to kill her in a certain point in the film. And, like, he takes this drink that ends up putting him to sleep. And she ends up trying to kill him off of that. Which it doesn't. I, don't, I, don't, I That's one thing I talk about. These, these goddamn plot twists. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Plot twist. Something I was bothered by in the film. But I think... Joey, Joey King, I think she was menacing. She's an evil little brat, pretty much. She was... She's evil, con- conniving, manipulative, manipulative, manipulative... I can't get the word out. Y'all, y'all know what I'm trying to say. But her in the film, as like, a se- you could say like a villain, maybe secondary antagonist, whatever. Because we get introduced to like the main, main antagonist later in the film in the third act. I'll talk about him in just a second. But uh, yeah, I think I think she really worked out really well. I think she she's pretty much there because she's evil as shit. That's, that's it. She's just, she wants to prove to her daddy because she knew her daddy was going to be there. And I'll talk about her daddy in just a second. But she knew her daddy was going to be on the train later on. And she wanted to be like, Daddy, why you never look at me? You always care about your uh, my, my brother, but you never care about me. That's pretty much her character. And she's just trying to get in the... Uh, uh, she's trying to make it to where her daddy can see her. But like I said, she's evil in the film. She's evil, but I think she really does a really great job. Joey King, I give you your props. You know, I hate... Yo- your eyes are menacing as hell. You, 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 your eyes are so evil, but they do a really great job in this film. So, hey, kudos to you. Now I'm gonna talk about one more character, bro. Really, goddamn quick, because he went in the trailer. Oh, there's two more. There's, there's two more I gotta talk about. These are these will be really quickly, because I know I'm already at 12, 13 minutes. I, I be, this will be really quickly. But I was just talking about how she was trying to uh, impress her father, right? Now, if you guys seen the movie. You know exactly who her father is, um, and her father was played by uh, Michael Shannon. And I was like, "Dude, I rec- I remember he's on screen. And I recognize him." It's like, "Where I recognize this guy from? That's goddamn General Zod from Man of Steel, my favorite DC film of all time." Yes, they have Michael Shannon in this film. He plays the uh, he's he's her evil ass father. He's pretty much like the dude that's behind everything. He was the reason why everybody was on the train. Everybody was on the train because of his ass. So he was like the main villain guy. And I really did appreciate him. He's pretty much like a cameo, pretty much. He doesn't, he doesn't stick around for too long. You see him in the third act, he gets killed in the third act. So, yeah, I, I but I did like Man- Michael Shannon for the time he was on the film. Now, I got to talk about two more just really quickly. This is going to be really quickly. But uh, it's maybe three. Uh, Chang Tatum's also in the film. <laughs> You know what's crazy? I'm going to talk about him and somebody else in just a second. But Chan Tam's in the film for maybe like two seconds. He helps out uh, Brad Pitt a little bit. And uh, I was wondering something about Chan Tatum. Because there's Chan Tatum and there's another character in the movie 
that if you've seen the trailer, you know exactly who I'm talking about. She's in the film. She's in the trailer just for a little bit, and I had seen her, and I was like, "Huh, I wonder." And I'm talking about this girl right here. Oh, I called her Michael Jackson in a, 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 a in a double toasted review, so y'all don't hold that against me. But I'm talking about Sandra Bullock. Now, I was wondering something about this. So Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum, and Brad Pitt are in a movie together that came out in 2022. There's also another movie that came out, I think, this year. If I'm being, I hope I'm not getting that wrong. There's another movie that came out this year with all three of them in it. Yes, it did come out this year. And that was a movie. Move this over real quick. Called The Lost City. Um, yeah, The Lost City film with San starring Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum, and they had Brad Pitt as a cameo. So I was wondering if... Sandra or Brad Pitt was like, hey, Brad was like, so I'll be in your movie if you want to be in mine. He was probably talking to both of them. He was like, look, I'll be in y'all movie if you want to be in my movie. So I wonder if that's what happened here. Because they probably ended up filming Lost City, got that over with, and they were like, hey, Brad Pitt was like, look, I'm going to go film this movie, uh, Bullet Train, I want to come join me. And they probably did. Because they, like, they're, they're only in the movie for two seconds, so... I was wondering, I'm like, they probably had like a day on set. For both of them, it was probably like a, a, a stinking day on set. So it wouldn't even, it wouldn't take that much. So I was wondering, I I, I wonder if y'all thinking the same thing. But I'm already at 17 minutes, so I'm only talking about characters. I ain't talking about nothing else yet. Um, One thing we talk about with this movie, because I know, I guess I did not want this review to be, I did not, I didn't want this review to be this long. This is why I kind of didn't want to just do a talk. Because when, I, when I'm talking, I kind of feel more comfortable than when I'm like sitting there reviewing a film. Um... But you know what really stands out in this movie? And it's something that really stands out in the Deadpool. It's the same thing that said down in the Deadpool movies. The gruesome deaths and the amazing action scenes. They do, both of them are amazing in this film. And they really pull off how they work. Like, you, you see people dying by, like, their swords. Like, swords getting, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, put right through their heads. And it actually looks cool. It's the same thing in the Deadpool movies. It's the same thing you hear. So if you're used to like how people die in Deadpool movies and how gruesome in gruesome ways and how they die, then you'll be fine with how people die here. Because it's pretty much the same exact way here. But uh yeah, man, like that's what stands out to me. Like I know you have a lot of great characters here, uh, great cameos, great performances all around. But it was like, man, the gruesome deaths and the cinematography, and even like some of the camera work in the movie. I thought really stood out in this because I was like, wow, like this is this is something people might not actually look at a lot, but I I, I do a lot of camera work, so it's kind of some things that I like to look at in particular because I actually later in life I actually want to be on a movie set and actually do camera work on a movie set. That's just something I want to do. But like watching it here, I was like, yes, I actually like this. And I'm I'm I, I I take appreciation to stuff like that. So yeah, um. Let me see what uh what else I got can I say to make this review too long? Cause I have a couple points here that if I say it, it's gonna make the video by thirty minutes. Oh, I gotta talk. I have to talk about this. So the movie, I don't know if they ran out of a budget or what happened, but in the third act of this movie, in the third act when everything just goes freaking nuts, train gets exploded, you get introduced to General Zod, Michael Shannon, and all that. When that third act hits, actually, this is the third act you guys are watching right here. But when this third act hits, you really start to see the CGI. And you really start to see how bad it is. Especially, like, the ending of the movie. Because, like, throughout the movie, you're like, ah, I mean, you can tell. Oh, wow, I didn't actually show them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at the trailer really quick. They actually showed Michael Shannon in this trailer. I didn't even know that. Holy crap. What the heck? So yeah, but uh, when you get to that third act of the movie, like I said, that that CGI just looks ass. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if they they probably ran out of a budget. They probably ran out of the budget. They gotta spend all the money on the actors they had to get. But uh, yeah, that's something that I thought uh, cause especially there is an ending scene, and it's right. It's like right in the third act, right at the end of the movie, where Michael Shannon is killed off. And uh, Joey King's character is killed off. But you really see it. And you're like, if you look at it, like, looking at it, 
you're like, this looks so cheap right now. I'm like, did y'all lose y'all budget or did y'all just waste the budget on Brad Pitt or something like that? Because I was like, what the hell? That that CGI and how it looked in the third act did not look good, honestly. So I just that was a big bummer for me. Uh, another thing that's kind of a big bummer, I feel like it was a little bit too long, but people have fun with it. Kind of people, you go into this film... Yeah, there's a lot of jokes here. Actually, yeah, yeah, the movie is surrounded by jokes. That's pretty much what, like, the movie is carried by the goddamn jokes and the action scenes. Uh, but I thought maybe the movie was just a little bit too long. That's just that's just me. Uh, very funny movie, but I just thought it was just way too long. I was like, for a simple premise like this and simple plot like this, this movie, this movie just doesn't need to be over two hours, you know? But people will have people, people will be fine with it. I just thought... There was some times where I was like, all right, maybe maybe this movie should end, and it just kind of keeps going on. And that's because they keep doing some plot twists. There's like certain plot twists, and they got to keep going back to explain the plot twist. I was kind of like, y'all gotta, y'all don't have to do this here. You know, y'all don't have to do this. So I thought there was like, there's one too many plot twists, uh, a little bit of pacing issues here and there that I kinda, was kind of bothered by. But my biggest complaint was like. The movie should have not been over two hours. Maybe 145. They could have probably cut this movie down to 145. Um, but yeah, man. The, 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 one thing I always appreciate about the director of the Deadpool movies and watching Deadpool movies, they do not shy away from action. And it is the same exact way here, boy. It, it, that's one thing I got to appreciate. There is no holding back on this action. There is no being like, oh, we're going to cut the camera to somebody else's face when somebody gets killed off. No, you see everything here, so... I would you really did uh, appreciate that from the director's standpoint. Even characters getting killed off and then they come back. Yeah, y'all know. Um, but let me go and get, get, get my thought, my final thoughts. My, my, and should you guys go see this movie? Um, you know what? I'll say it. Just for all the performances. I'm talking about one more special character at the end of the movie. Um, just for all the special performances you guys see here, uh, you see that every actor actually gives a damn and no one's sleepwalking through their roles like I've seen in many movies. Um, the great action scenes that really stand out, people getting killed, there's no, you know, like I just said, there's no clicking away from that. I think really stands out from this movie. I'll say, if you like the Deadpool movies, you will like this film. You, I, that, that, that's perfect. I think, I think that's perfect. If you like Deadpool, you'll like this. I'll just say that. Um, so that's my that's my biggest thing right there. Now, this movie's surrounded, like I said, surrounded by a bunch of comedy, surrounded by a bunch of action that I think really does well. Uh, like I said, fighting does really well. But should you go see this in the theater? I'll say yes. I'll say I'll say yes. Sometimes I don't. You know, I love I love people that that watch my stuff, and I like to save y'all money when I can. But I'll say this. Yes, go go see this one, man. Go see this one. Go see this one with an audience. Because everybody in the audience will have fun. I was I was in there with a bunch of freaking critics, y'all. Y'all know the critics. Y'all know if y'all if y'all ever been to a press screening, y'all know y'all y'all with a bunch of people that like, oh, we gotta write our notes down and we, you know what I'm saying? But everybody in the theater was actually having a lot of fun with the movie. I was having fun with the movie. This was the first movie in a while where I was sitting up in my chair like, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Like, I was really having a lot of fun with this one. So, yes, go see this. I'm giving this movie... I, God damn it. I didn't get this... Ah, God damn it. All right. I'm giving this an 8.5, y'all. Y'all, don't, 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 don't kill me. 8.5 out of 10, y'all. 8.5. 8.5. Leave me alone. 8.5. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not changing my rating. 8.5. Because I, yesterday, I said 9.0. 8.5, y'all. I think you guys... It's definitely worth going, definitely worth going to see. Now, I do have to talk about one more character really really quickly and the reason why i wasn't gonna bring him up is because he's only in one scene in the movie i thought they would actually bring him back up later on but they don't and that's ryan reynolds yes oh my god like a deadpool himself ryan reynolds right yes ryan reynolds in the movie but he's in the movie for two seconds and it's really like you might miss him it's one of those like he he's on a bike he's like the pretty much like another villain that pretty much kind of got them all there and uh, you only you see him take off his helmet for a bike from a bike, and you don't see him again. So I, I wouldn't I didn't think I was gonna actually bring him up because I was like I don't know what there is to bring about him because you never really got to you didn't really get introduced to his character. All I know that his character is like a, a an, an idiot or not like an idiot, but you know that like his character is like evil as hell, you know. And, and he pretty much is the one that got Brad Pitt in this whole entire mess. 
But that's how you know about his character. But yeah, man, once you guys once you guys see the movie, please put your comments and stuff down below. I did not want to make this review. Honestly, I wanted to make this review 15 minutes, but then I knew if I started talking about the characters, it might be a little bit longer. So that is that is my fault, y'all. Y'all know I don't want to make long reviews. Y'all know me. I like to get in and get out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yo, I really do appreciate you guys, man. Y'all first time finding my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Also, the video, tell me your thoughts, complaints, criticisms, all that down below. This is just a spoiler talk, y'all. So don't take this review too serious. You know what I'm saying? All right, not, not, not take it too serious. But don't be in the comment section talking about you think you're dying to get to that point. I ain't trying to hear it. But hey, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Actually, we're gonna play the uh, we're gonna play the outro. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, y'all. Shoot. Uh, well, peace.